we'll learn the circle of fifths. And that's going to show you how to learn all the key signatures and get them memorized really fast. Okay, so here's the order of sharps right there. And here's the order of flats. So write that down now so you've got it in front of you on a piece of paper. Now for the flats, it's really easy. You just remember bead, G, C, F. So like beads you'd wear around your neck or something, bead, and then G, C, F. So you can think about it as bead, G, C, F. And it's a really easy way to remember it. And then the sharps are back to front. So, see, it's Biedger C F, but backwards. So you're starting with the F. You can use little phrases to memorize these. Some phrases that um, I use are so the order of sharps. You could use four city girls dance an excellent ballet. So four city girls dance an excellent ballet. For the flats, you could use be a darned good country fiddler. So be -E -B, a darned good country fiddler. You could use body exercising after dinner gets cats fit. And you can use another one like that for the sharps. Fit cats get dinner after exercising body. Fit cats get dinner after exercising body. So you can use phrases like that to um, help you remember the, the order of sharps and order of flats. So now let's go on to the circle of fifths. This here is the circle of fifths. So you've got C up the top. So remember, write this one down as well. So draw a circle, and then you've got C up the top, G flat down the bottom. So around the circle, it's the same order that we were doing for the flats. Biedger. Now you've got Biedger again. Biedger, and then C, F. So you can either start from here or here. So you've got Biedger in naturals, C, F, then Biedger in flats. So that's an easy way to remember the circle. But first of all, write it down so you can start getting it into your head. Now, if you have a look at this, you'll see C has no sharps or flats. So that's the key signature of C. F has one, and it has a flat. All the ones on this side are flats right down to the G flat and all the ones on this side are sharps. So from C you've got one, two, three. So the numbers represent how many flats they've got. So four flats for A flat, five and then six flats for G flat. And around the other side in sharps G is one, two sharps for D, three for A, four for E, and five for B. So now, if you know how many sharps or flats they've got in them, all you have to do then is know what the order are. So if you're on this side, let's say you've got A. So it's got three sharps because it's on this side of the circle. Now, the three sharps are F sharp, C sharp and G sharp because that is the order of sharps. See there, F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. So you always start with the order from the first one and go through it. So if you had five sharps on B it would be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. Now if we go to the flats so let's say it's G flat. So you've got six. So the order of flats is B, G, C. So B, E, A, D, G, C. 
Now if you go to B flat, there's only two, so what are the flats? B flat and E flat. So you always go on what the order is, starting from the start to the end. So that's how you work out any key signature. And you've got to, you, you take the time to get all these key signatures into your memory. So the ones down this side, maybe do them first because they're in the flats. So all you have to do is remember the order of flats and remember the order of this. So it's CF, then you've got Biedger. If you can remember that much, then you'll be able to slowly get that into your memory. And then you can go over all those scales.